In those innocent days, there were movie houses in every neighborhood and always an Isley store nearby. And Isley's was a kind of proto-convenience store, a combination restaurant, small grocery, and ice cream parlor, brought to Pittsburgh from Ohio in the early 30s by Henry Isley. Margie D. Armit remembers working at Isley's when it stayed open till midnight to accommodate all the customers. They would go to a movie and they'd come to the Isley's and get milkshakes and get banana splits and get ice cream cones. At that time, the world lived, you know, until 12, 1 o'clock at night. All our stores were open. Now, there are still about 10 Isley stores around the Pittsburgh area, and they may have some similarities to the old shops, but during its heyday, Isley's included nearly 100 stores in the Pittsburgh area. Isley's central offices and dairy operations were in Oakland on the Boulevard of the Allies. George Crowey started working for Henry Isley in 1931, about a week after the business opened in Pittsburgh. I was 21 years of age at the time. And we had, that was our, the store in Homewood was a very small store. It was actually open even before the Boulevard of the Allies. So it was a, they opened it on a trial basis to see if the people would go to the, for the ice cream cones and ice cream cones for a nickel, buttermilk for a nickel, a milkshake for a dime, a uh, cheese sandwich for a, a nickel a uh, ham salad sandwich for 10 cents, and a baked ham sandwich for 15 cents. For 25 cents, you could a, get a baked ham Swiss cheese combination sandwich. How could you turn it down? George eventually became vice president of the company, but he remembers the super success of those early days. Crowds, you wouldn't believe the crowds that came in there. You wouldn't believe them. In those days, I get back to the Depression days, I used to have free movies up in Shinley Park. There was a band stand up there and they'd shift the movies. These people would sit on the grass, sit on chairs all around. It's quite a few hundred people, I can't say how many. And all of a sudden, the word got, here they come. And you'd look up the street and you couldn't drive a car down the Boulevard of the Allies for the people coming from Shinley Park, <laughs> running to get to Isis to get their nickel ice cream going. <laughs> and that store got so full. It was, it was <laughs> unbelievable. We would have 20 people behind the counter digging ice cream cones. 20 people, just making them as fast as you could make them.